The shades are on everyone, because guess what? Nintendo has finally announced the date and time and of their E3 2021 plans. And uh, it's very interesting to say the least. <laughs> All right, so here I am on their official uh, <laughs> on their official Twitter page, and let's just say that uh, we don't really need to wait. You guys, wait any longer. We've been building up anticipation for this for a while. We are covering the entirety of E3, but if you're looking forward to what Nintendo has going on, they are going to be at E3 2021 on six fifteen at nine a.m. Pacific time, which is actually eleven. A.M. Central Time, so we'll be covering that. So we'll be covering that at that time. That is a Tuesday. So remember, E3 is the 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. Microsoft's going on the 13th. Nintendo's going on the final day. 6:15 is also the day that they are doing the E3 award show. So Nintendo is literally going at like the last possible moment during E3. But obviously, it's more than just a direct. But there is a direct. It says, tune in for a Nintendo Direct with roughly 40 minutes of info focused exclusively on Nintendo Switch software, mostly releasing in 2021. That's hype. Mostly, by the way. That means there will be some 2022 titles, but they're going to be focusing on what's coming out the rest of the year over the course of 40 minutes. However, there is going to also be immediately, immediately following up that 40 minutes, three Hours of gameplay from Nintendo Treehouse Live. So that's right. From essentially 11 a.m. Central Time all the way up to noon, 1, 2, 3 o'clock or so. Uh, four straight hours of Nintendo goodness on the final day of E3. Nintendo is wanting to leave you with a final impression from E3 that is sure to last. Now you'll notice in this announcement... There is nothing in there about the Switch Pro. There is nothing in there about even Breath of the Wild 2. There's nothing in there specifically about what games are going to be showing. Nintendo is leaving everything up for debate. We have no idea what they're doing. No tease. Just it's happening on 6.15 at 9 a.m. Pacific time. This also lets me know that the ESA should be announcing the full E3 schedule here any day. They already said early June. Nintendo was one of the major players to not announce it. They've announced that kind of clears the way for the ESA to finally give us that full fat schedule. I am wrapping up my registration with them. I don't know that me registering with E3 really matters so much this year, but it would be cool for uh, me to at least get the okay from them to be an official co-streamer. Uh, it sounds like we're going to get approved. It's kind of weird some of the process I have to go through for that, but this is what we've been waiting for, folks. Now we know. Nintendo, remember we, we did one video earlier where it was thought that possibly Nintendo might have something going on all four days of E3. That was obviously not true. What is true is Nintendo is going at 615 and we're going to basically get four hours of Nintendo. Goodness, Nintendo's giving us a four hour event at E3. That is woo! Oh, 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 baby. Uh, lots of gameplay, lots of game reveals, lots of re-reveals of games we probably already know about. I am so hyped, guys. This is what we've been waiting for. All right, folks. Oh, my gosh. I got to get this video out to you guys ASAP. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, I'm pumped. All right, catch you guys in the next video.